I don't know what even I have recorded at this point. It's been absolute chaos. There's been like over 15 fish caught like in the past three passes. It's been absolutely insane. What is going on everybody? Welcome back to NB Edits. So in today's video, I'm gonna be doing some walleye fishing. I'm out in Green Bay with my buddy, Cody S. He's a fellow YouTuber. I fish with him a lot. Usually it comes to walleye fishing. He's kind of a master in that field. <laughs> <laughs> so today, like I said, we're out on the bay and we're gonna be doing some trolling right now. He's just he's just jigging right now because we're marking some fish right before we're getting set up for the trolling bite. We're waiting until a little bit darker uh, because he says that this is mainly a night bite. So we'll see if uh, he's correct on that. I really don't know what I'm talking about. I do know how to walleye fish, but like coming out to an area like this, I really honestly don't know what I'm doing but hopefully in today's video we can catch an absolute ton of walleyes people have been doing really really good out here and hopefully uh, we catch some size too I mean every cast every troll you could possibly catch like a 30 inch walleye which is kind of crazy because up north it's not very common for that it could take you a whole lifetime all it could take here is one trip so that's the goal for today so stay tuned guys don't want to miss this one okay well picked up the jig rod real quick like cody was doing throwing a shiver minnow never thrown one of those before oh, it just shook me it just came off just came off well i was just hooked up on a walleye and that was only like my fifth cast this is what we're using like i was talking about shiver minnow right yeah i i don't know what this is but it works i guess i mean literally i've only been casting for like a solid two minutes we kind of found a hump out here before we're trolling, just kind of killing some time. And that one wanted it, so maybe, maybe we could get a few jigging real quick before we actually start this trolling, but... Man, that sucks. <laughs> okay, I hooked up again. I'm gonna have to set the camera down and net it, huh? Yeah, probably. I'm gonna come down here with the net. Is it a walleye? I don't even know. Yeah, it is. It is a walleye? Yep. real aggressive. Give him up. Oh, he's in my line. Oh god, it's a nice one, dude. Let's see this. Not a very long fish, but look at the freaking girth on this baby. It's <laughs> it's a very very healthy fish, and it seems like every time that I've come out and fished out here with Cody, a lot of these walleyes out here are super gold, got the dark top, just like how it is up in northern Wisconsin. So. That's awesome. Except for the fish over here seem like way more aggressive. Like I said, we're throwing that shiver minnow. That thing is way more aggressive than anything I would throw up north. And we're just popping it off the bottom. I'm kind of doing a really bad job of like showing you guys what I'm doing. But we're not trying to act, we're trying to catch fish right now, but like we're trying to pass time. So like, yeah, you get it. But first fish of the night, hopefully this is the smallest, but very, very nice fish. I'm gonna get a release on them right away and get back to it. Kicks away right away. That is awesome. Important to get those fish back so other people can enjoy catching them as well. Okay, so we're on the move right now. Put the jigging stuff away. Managed getting one fish. I missed one, Cody missed one. And then while he was shooting his intro, I actually hooked up, but then I lost it. So if you wanna see me lose another fish, go check out his video. Uh, I will leave it in the description. I don't know why you'd want to see me lose a fish, but if you feel like you want to do that, then go check it out. Right now, we are doing what? We're heading somewhere to start trolling. Yep. Supposedly, that's yeah, what we're, we're going to be start doing. Trolling. Yep. The sun is going down right now. It's looking absolutely gorgeous out here. I mean, this is perfect weather. And yeah, we're going to start setting the boards, setting the lines, and we're going to see if we can just get on top of a ton of fish and possibly maybe even hit that 30 inch mark. I don't know, we'll see, it's gonna be crazy. Let's get after it. So always, you always know it's gonna be a good night when you can't even get the board on and the fish is just screaming, you know. <laughs> Setting in my first line, let let the bait out like 70 feet, and I was just about to put the board on and it got smoked. 
reeled it up. It was a nice walleye. It's probably 19, 20 inches. Really beautiful colors up here. And it actually came on a bait that you guys probably seen us run in spring. Um, it's actually called the Selmo Wacky. Um, these things are absolutely great uh, in, in the early spring. It's got that really slow wobble. These baits are known for their wobble. And uh, yeah, this is my first time running it late, late summer like this. And well, maybe it's gonna work. Just caught a fish on one, so I think it's gonna be a good night. So stay tuned. Okay, it has been a minute since we've turned on the camera. It is now dark out, as you can see. Cody uh, caught a fish, like he explained. That was off camera. Then, then he missed a fish that was maybe, he says, over 25. Kind of a shame. He's off though. He's off. See, the reason I thought that was tiny is because I'm I'm just used to catching like absolute giants. Hey, hey! I'm trying to be nice. Just trying to show everybody. Okay. My first of the night trolling. Not a giant, but just another quality fish. Okay, so little rundown here. This was absolutely hectic. Cody got a fish on the left hand outside board. Reeling it in, the middle board on the left hand side gets hit. Currently the rod that I'm reeling in. Basically a triple header. Triple, and then the right hand side Here, got hit. I'll shine your headlamp on it. Oh, he's right there. Got him. <laughs> Untangled right away. Absolute madness going on right now in the boat. As you can tell, we got, I mean, this is crazy. We got all of our rods just kind of all over the place. It, absolute nightmare right now. I mean, you can't complain when you're catching fish, right? Absolutely not. All right, Nick. Okay. What's going on here now that we're done? We got two rods left in the water. One over there and one right here. Just complete madness. Look at this. So we got a fish in the live well. We lost. Nick's, Nick's holding one. We what, lost one, two. two other ones. We yeah. actually had well, a triple header, and then as the triple header was like kind of going on, then we had another one hit this inside board. And we didn't realize this fish was on until like after the fact that we got all the other stuff situated. Cody caught that fish. Then I caught this fish. Like just absolutely insane. That's what we were talking about all night. We wanted just some plain action, and we got the action. And it was unexpected, but awesome. So what we're gonna do, like Cody was showing, his fish is in the live well. I'm gonna put this one right in there, just cause these fish were hooked for a while. You know, you're dragging them through the water like that. We're just gonna sit, have them sit in there for a little bit, revive them up, and then we're gonna release them back. All right, Cody just released his fish. Got mine just chilling. Oh yeah, you're ready. Don't worry, I'll release you. We'll get one one last good look at this fish. Not a giant, but very, very quality fish. You know, any fish is a good fish, especially when we're out here. And we're pretty much the only boat, like, over in this area, too, so which makes it even better. But I'm not going to spend too much time with it. Should be ready to go. Get a release on this healthy fish. She goes. That is awesome. All right, so we are going to go back over to where we started and we're gonna set all six lines because five out of the six were uh, not in the water by the time we were done with that little fish spree. And uh, we're gonna reset them and hopefully, you know, just get on top of a whole slew of fish and hopefully we can pull off an absolute giant from these flats that we're fishing. So let's go up and do it. Wind's picking up. Wind is picking up. Did that fish. just get hit? All right, we got a double. Double. Oh, there he is. Nice fish, huh? Yeah. I'm gonna put this in the holder. Holy cow. Is it a nice one? No, just like, when this happens, it's just Not crazy. Nice. No, I can't even see her. Okay. Back up, back up, back up, back up. Oh yeah, it's a nice one. Back up quick. First fish. Turn your headlight on. Just real quick. Okay, there's my fish. No clue. 
Ooh, this is a nice one. Set down my camera and uh, get oh, this fish on hook. Put him in the live real quick. Grab his camera, start filming, and we will be right back. This is like a triple right here. I gotta set the camera down again. I think so, but Nick will talk to you and let you know what's going on. <laughs> this is nuts. Sorry if like the film work is not that great, but like I don't think you guys understand how great this bite is all of a sudden. We just went from last pass where we had like a triple header to a quadruple or whatever the heck happened. This pass, we literally just got a quadruple again. We only have two boards out there. Oh, I can grab it for you otherwise. I got it. Wow, these hooks are sharp on these things. We're trying to catch these fish and film in the dark. And these fish aren't really helping because we just keep on getting like four at a time. We need like four nets. Like we got three really, really nice walleyes in the live well right now. I mean, this is nuts. It's some of the best walleye trolling I've ever had. We got a hook in here because we can't get it out. Now Nick's got another fish on. I'll let you work on that. My outside board just got hit. Okay. I gotta turn this off. We got another fish on now. Same as all the other ones. Another quality fish. Cody is hooked up. <laughs> I'm this hooked up. Insane. I'm hooked up again. I haven't turned my camera off. <laughs> I really haven't turned my camera off yet. Oh, oh my gosh. Yeah, like, Put this one in the live hole. And then we'll show you the live hole. Yeah. Okay, guys, I don't know what even I have recorded at this point. It's been absolute chaos. I highly suggest after you get done watching my video, Go over to Cody S's channel. I'll leave it down below, search it, whatever you gotta do. Go look at his perspective, cause we both kind of been just grabbing each other's cameras. But it's just been so chaotic that like, I don't even know what we each have or whatever. But there's been like over 15 fish caught like in the past three passes. It's been absolutely insane. He released about four fish that we had on the live well. So if you wanna go see those fish, again, go look at his video. But we got a few more in here show you guys them the two bigger ones he released right away because they were uh they weren't doing so hot and we really wanted to make sure that those fish got back nice and safe and they all did but the rest of them in here are just nice quality fish i mean we didn't catch anything super small but we didn't catch anything super big yet i'm gonna get a release on all these guys real quick these ones have a bunch of spunk. I mean, these fish should go right away. They shouldn't have any problems. A little bigger than the last one, but pretty much the same size. Just another nice dandy fish. Get a release on her. And we got one more in here. Pretty much. Same exact size as the other two, but it's just been such an incredible bite. I mean, I've never experienced walleye fishing quite like this. Yes, we are trolling, but I've never just caught 15 walleyes in like as short a time and as hectic as we did just now. And we're not even done yet. I mean, we're still searching for that 30 incher and I got a really good feeling it's gonna happen. We just gotta, at this point, sort through all of that size which is crazy we got to sort through that size and hope the bigger ones can get to the baits first because it's just been so insane so now that we got the live wall all wrapped up everything's out of there we're gonna make one more pass and hope to see if we can uh, pull out a 30 inch or so stay tuned guys so it seems like it's been a while since we picked up the camera because we've caught so many fish that like we haven't been recording because it's just been too much of a hassle. On this pass alone, I caught four while Cody's trying to like throw up because like, I don't know what's going on. We both kind of just felt sick. It's the last line in the water. I'm gonna boat flip this little guy. This is the last one of the night. I mean, definitely by far one of the best bites I've had for walleyes this year and maybe just ever. We didn't get anything of size, but like I said in the intro, we were either gonna shoot for size or we were going to go for limits. And we 
definitely succeeded at that. I mean, it's insane. This Selma Wacky 12, is that what that is? I mean, this, this bait absolutely destroyed. I mean, we had it all, all six lines and we honestly, as soon as we'd get all six in, they would all go. Like we had multiple four or five, this guy wants to go, I'm gonna release him quick. We had multiple four or five like fish on at once every single pass these last couple. It was insane, absolutely insane. Highly recommend that bait. I mean, it's incredible. But we're gonna finish wrapping up, packing up, and then uh, we're gonna go back to the landing. So I will talk to you guys more when we get there. Okay, wow, incredible night. Just made it back to the landing, got the boat all hooked up and ready to rock and roll. It's late, I mean, it's almost two o'clock in the morning right now. We still have, I don't even know where the heck we are or how far, I think it's like an hour drive home to Cody's house. Super tired, he can agree that he's also tired. At one point we also felt like sick because like, I don't know what was going on. We were just constantly moving into the lights and the dark, I don't know, crazy, but insane night, totally worth it. We didn't get that big fish that we were looking for, but we did end up catching like over 40 walleyes. Now, I can't show you all of them because I don't want to put out like a 40 minute video, but I mean, you can obviously tell that we absolutely destroyed the fish tonight. The trolling bite was on fire. As soon as we got the baits in the water and set up on our pass, they all just went. We had doubles, triples, quads. At one point we even, I think twice had like five go at the same time, which is crazy. And even on the last pass, we didn't record any, but we had four fish that we just tossed back because like it was just getting old almost how many we were catching. But insane bite, one of the best walleye bites I've had this year by far. So just awesome. If you guys enjoyed watching Cody and I catch some walleyes out here in Green Bay, please make sure to give this video a thumbs up. If you want to see more walleye videos, into the fall season. Also let me know down in the comments. Walleye fishing is definitely Brandon and I's favorite thing to go for, so uh, we wouldn't be disappointed if you guys wanted to see more of that on the channel. So right, otherwise I'm gonna start wrapping this up because I'm, I'm so tired. I don't even know what I'm talking about at this point. So thank you guys so much. Make sure you guys subscribe if you're new to the channel. And until next time, tight lines from NB Edits.